everyone, welcome to my garden. Like I said in a previous video, uh, I do a lot of gardening, but I don't do a lot of gardening videos, but it seems like there's some interest in it. So I'm gonna run through, show you what I have planted so I can do some update videos throughout the year here. Uh, I was gonna wait another week or so before I do this so the plants could come up a little higher, but either next weekend or the following weekend or both weekends, I'm gonna be at the tent and I'm not gonna be thinking about the garden. So let me run through what I got planted right here and you guys can follow along. Okay, so we'll just do a quick run through. I've got 100 sets of both white and yellow onions that I planted over on this side. And Sarah loves cherry tomatoes, so I've got four, eight plants of the Sweet 100s. I've got some big boys and some early girls. Uh, I always like to get the earlier varieties because you just never know here in Minnesota what's going to happen with the weather. Uh, when I come over here, this little area here, I got the, the fence up for the peas to climb up. Uh, I'm not anybody that, that cans peas, but I like to come out here and just eat them or put them in stir fries. I think they're real good that way. Uh, and then on this side of this fence then is where I keep all the viney things. Cucumbers, squash, watermelon. I've got honeydew melons here. You know, a couple different kinds of squash. Zucchini. Um, I even got some acorn squash and everything on this end right here. Okay, so next to my onions here we have uh, three blueberry bushes. I've got three on the other end of the garden too. And I got these on sale, they're one year plants and they were really on sale. And what I'm gonna do is grow them here for this season. Then I'll have two year plants just about and then this fall around deer hunting, I'm gonna bring those up and plant them at the, at the tent. They're a real cold hardy variety that'll go to zone three. So they should do good up there and I don't want anything in this garden that I can't just till in next year. So anything that's like this, that's an annual um, or a bush like this, I'll be taking it out of here. All right, so we get behind that and I've got red potatoes right there that I did as seed potatoes and this row right next to it here are whites and what I did my little experiment here these three plants here are they were just store-bought white potatoes and I cut them and put them in and you can just see how much farther behind they are they were planted on the same day so they definitely must spray the potatoes with something that says do not germinate but I just had to try it and see my favorite thing to grow is always beans I love to can beans I like to just come out here and eat these so I've got my regular green beans, which I always plant Bush Blue Lake 274s, they're my favorite. And then I've just got another one of wax beans. I like to do those too. A um, little different color, but not that much difference in taste. If we run down this uh, row right here, I've got garlic planted. You can barely see it, but it is starting to come up right here. And then over here I've got this kohlrabi whatever the heck you want to call that I don't know I've never even had that before it gets a little two inch fruit it said so I wanted to try that another one of my experiments these are great northern beans I just bought these in the store I, I store them in my like prep you know I've got these dried beans and I just took some out and planted them and they popped up immediately they were faster than even the green beans here we've got cauliflower right here and then I switch over to broccoli, and these are already getting little broccoli heads on them. So these are starting to do good. And down here I've got collard greens. I like these. I buy them in the store, just they're already canned and they're really good. So here I had two extra plants of collards. I've got those there. I've got Black Beauty eggplant as well as Japanese eggplant. And we've got kale. I've got green peppers over on this side. I got leeks, a whole bunch of leeks. Sarah wanted them. I've never grew them before, so we bought them and they're, they're doing quite good. So we'll see if they get as big as the ones that you get in the store. We move down here, we got cabbage. I only have uh, the five plants planted because there's not a whole lot you can do with cabbage. You eat it now or you can make sauerkraut, but it's basically just me. So I didn't need it, you know, a whole lot more than one or two heads actually. And then I've got jalapeno peppers, not much on hot peppers at all, but if I want to make salsa, at least I'll have some. And over here we've got strawberries. These two I think I'm going to move up to the tent where we've got the strawberry gardens up there, but it was a good deal on them, so I planted them here. I'll let them grow. These are ever-bearing, which I like, and we'll see how these do. All right, so this row is unmarked right now. What we have is ever-bearing and june-bearing strawberries but we just bought the roots and they haven't popped up yet so until something pops up it doesn't get anything to because I might end up planting something else here if they don't come up you just never know I got a couple of rhubarb plants that are also going to go up north at the end of the season and the other three blueberry are right there 
I see that this blueberry, I just noticed yesterday that it's got a bunch of flowers, so it actually won't be that long and this one might start to make some fruit. Here now I've got a short row of spinach. Um, I really like spinach and I love growing it and it's so good when it comes fresh out of the garden. But once again, it's only me that's going to be eating this. And in Minnesota, it's like you hit or miss with it. You'll get it for a couple days and then it all goes up to seed and it's ruined. So I just did a short row of that. Uh, behind that I've got two different type of carrots. I always do Nantes and Danvers. Um, you can see now that this part of the garden hasn't been weeded real well yet and that's because you know you go through and for any of you that do gardening that initial weeding is the biggest pain in the butt because you got to go through and get them out from around the plants and those carrots have barely started so I'm not gonna go in there yet it's not time to thin those out yet so I'm waiting um, even with the leeks I haven't went around the edge of that yet because I'm waiting to uh, waiting for them to get a little bit bigger when I was younger and first started gardening and uh, I mean, it was a long time ago, but my grandparents used to come over and always look at the garden when they would come down from where they lived, and they would always in the spring bring me something that was kind of neat. I mean, one year they brought me a peanut plant, one year it was a cotton plant, and it was always something different, and you just sit there and it was so fun to see how that grows and if it grows and stuff like that. So I always try to add something fun into my garden, and this year I've got sugar beets that are supposed to be giant 20-pound sugar beets each, and surprisingly these actually came up. Um, I also got giant five pound carrots, nothing has come up there, and uh, I don't know, there was one other thing that has not come up yet, we'll have to take a look when I get down there, but anyway, the giant sugar beets are coming up, uh, down there I've got Swiss chard, and uh, you can see over here, this whole end here is corn, and instead of doing different plantings of corn, I've got two rows of 64 day, then I switched to a 73 day for two rows, and then I've just got a short little uh, row of 78 day. That'll run me, you know, through most of the season. And I really enjoy growing corn and I seem to have good luck with it and it grows well here. But if, you've, if I was gonna do a lot of it, you know, I would fill this whole entire garden. So I just do this little bit because I can go up the road a mile north or a mile south when it's time for the corn to be ready and buy 13 ears of corn for four dollars you know every single day you can just get tons of it and it's really good so I didn't want to fill the whole garden with corn but uh, we do have some here anyway okay so there's a look at this this part of my gardening which is the main part uh, the one other thing that I forgot about was supposed to be giant baseball sized strawberries and they haven't popped up either but we'll see over here now this is to, uh, behind and kind of to the left of the garden I've got these containers and in the square containers I have sunflower seeds. These are Russian mammoths. They should get at least one to two foot heads with tons of seeds and they should grow at least 10 feet tall. So it'll look kind of neat behind the garden. And then in these little round ones, um, these particular ones here, I have dill planted in here. I've got a few containers like this one here um, that I plant. This one has popcorn in it. And this one over here has popcorn in it also. I also have one more. I'll show you where my herb little containers are and stuff. But um, I love growing popcorn. If you haven't ever done it, it's so simple. All I do is if you go to the store and you buy the bag of popcorn that, you know, and I know now everybody uses the microwave, but the stuff you put in the pan, you plant it into the ground and it'll grow every time. And these are popping up. These are about a week later than the other stuff that I have planted that came up. But it grows good um, at the end of the year. You wait till they completely dry out. Uh, here I wait until after it's frozen and pull them and I let them dry more yet in the house and I don't know but it's uh, to me it tastes way better than regular popcorn. Well this is where I decided to do all of my herbs so I can just look right out the window and see them and I check them all the time they're kind of fun. This one is cilantro, parsley, thyme, mustard, rosemary, peppermint, sage, sweet basil. All right, if I move over here now, I've got some more dill. I wanted to grow a lot of dill. This one I'm most excited about. I got oregano in here, and I really hope it grows because I do end up, I seem to use a lot of oregano. This is the other popcorn that I was telling you about. This is going to get a lot of sun here and heat with around the rocks, so this should do good. And I had a few more onions set, so I planted those in this one, and in the center I have more oregano. Well everyone, thanks a lot for watching the first real garden update video. Let me know what you think. Um, I love your comments. I try to get back with them as much as I possibly can. I really appreciate them. And if you guys don't want to see garden update videos, let me know. It's kind of different from what the channel usually is, but at the same time, 
you grow your own garden, you can self-sustain yourself, and I just always have enjoyed gardening.